Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video is subject, Why Won't My Cat Retract Its Claws? Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. You can teach your cat to retract its claws through play. When approached with claws unsheathed, make a high-pitched yelping sound and stop the game immediately. This mimics the noise made by another cat, teaching it the claws hurt. This training will only work if your cat is willfully unsheathing its claws. Before we tackle today's topic, let's first talk about the primary reasons why cats choose to expose their claws. First up, we have protection. Along with teeth, claws are the main source of self-defense for cats. And many times this form of protection arises out of fear. If your cat stays claws out for most of the day and night, this could be a sign that your pet feels insecure. Next, we have hunting. When cats are on the prowl, they'll expose their claws in order to attack prey. While a bite to the neck is the go-to attack method, the claws are very much key. Claws are also used to tear flesh from the bone. Next, we have marking. Cats love to scratch, well, pretty much everything. Very much an instinctive behavior. Scratching can be used as a way for your pet to stake its claim. This behavior can be somewhat controlled with the introduction of a scratching post. This is especially helpful if your furniture has become your cat's new favorite toy. And the last reason for claw exposure that we'll cover today involves climbing. Cats need those claws to get from point A to point B, especially when we're talking about navigating a tree or a fence. Claws become mighty fine hooks during times of adventure. Cats learn how to retract their claws during kittenhood. It's quite rare to see an adult cat be unable to perform this skill unless the cat in question is a true feral with no early life education. If your cat is refusing or unable to retract its claws, it's fair to assume that lack of understanding is not the issue. The lack of retraction is either a conscious choice or a physical incapability. Here are the reasons why cats just can't retract their claws. First, we have infection either bacterial or fungal. If your pet has a torn claw either due to blunt impact or a biting type injury, the space in question could become compromised. Check for inflammation of the skin around the claw and discoloration and swelling around the nail bed. Next, we have injury. Similar in some respects to infection, an injury to your cat's leg or foot can create the look of perpetual claws. Injuries to muscles and tendons in the region can cause a cat to be unable to retract. And the final reason of our trio involves old age. If you have a senior cat, your pet could have lost the ability to properly retract due to an overall loss of flexibility. Aging joints and muscles can make the most basic movements very difficult. Retracting, or at least the very attempt, can be quite painful, thus causing your cat to just avoid the motion entirely. Before any type of training can take place, the primary cause has to be identified. Quite obviously, training won't be needed if a medical reason is responsible. However, if your cat is healthy and simply in a state of refusal, a certain amount of training could solve the problem. Although, you should be prepared for a rather lengthy process, especially if the core issue is psychological. We offer the following training tips. They can be used during a standard play session. Step number one. Play with your cat. Number two, allow your cat to approach with claws unsheathed. Number three, when the claws come close to you, make that high-pitched yelp. Step four, stand up and turn your back to your cat. Ceasing play for 30 seconds. Step five, repeat, and if your cat shows its claws again, stop playing for one to two minutes. Step six, repeat once more, giving your cat just one last chance. And step seven, if those claws come out again, Stop play and try again in 24 hours. Is that a bit hokey? 
I can't hear you. <laughs> a bit silly, a bit corny. 100% yes. Yes to all three. Hokey, silly, corny. But hey, no question, no question about it. However, sometimes it does take a bit of cringe, just sort of like what I just did, in order to get the job done. And of course, this isn't a my way or the highway method. There are a million tricks under the sun. The core objective here is to send a message to your cat without being physically manipulative in the most direct sense. Your cat needs to learn, but the teaching shouldn't be a scare tactic. Contact your vet if you have any questions at all. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to offer up several potential solutions. And speaking of a vet, this section is just, well, just, just asking for one. While you can take matters into your own hands when it comes to trimming, please be mindful of the actual undertaking at hand. If you're concerned that you'll encounter an issue, please have your cat's claws trimmed by a professional, either at the vet or any pet-friendly establishment. Most chain pet supply stores have grooming centers for this very thing. Having said that, if you decide to conduct the trim, please follow these steps. Step 1. Purchase a pair of nail clippers as keratin is way too tough for scissors. Step 2. Familiarize your cat with the sound of the clippers before starting. Step 3. Calm your cat and massage the paw so it's used to being handled. Step 4. Locate the quick of your cat's nail, which is where the blood vessel meets the keratin. Step 5. Cut above the quick. If you cut too deep, the cat will bleed. And step six, clip that nail. We advise you to have another person on hand in order to comfort and secure the cat. Once you go in with the clippers and start the process, there isn't much room for turning back. Keep your pet still as possible. That is the ultimate objective. And I can't stress this enough. If you think this job is just too grand and too risky for you, don't even try it. There's certainly no shame in passing it along to a pro. Your cat's safety should always come first. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.